He went to Vaishnava, this Kanchan Krishna Das. And he was not just by words, he just jumped on his lotus feet. He takes his lotus feet and he said, maybe I made some mistakes. Please forgive me. Please tell me why you got some hurt. Maybe I hurt you? Yes. When? Yes, that day uh, you are laughing to look at me. I never yes, you are seated there in this tree, under this tree, and I was passing by this tree. And I saw that you were laughing at me. And then Goswami, he explained this all things. It was not, I guess I was smiling, I was laughing, but not to see you. That time, in my heart, I was saying this Leela. When he explained, then Kanchan Krishna was. He also said, Oh, Rupa, I misunderstood you. That means I also did a prab. Then both of them offered their pranam to both of them. To each other. To each other. Yes. <laughs> and then Kanchan Krishna was going to this festival and to Prasad. Then again Rupa Goswami can see this only us. But he had done it by his ignorance because it was not intentionally made yes, by this ignorance. offense. It then, is then why if you are saying that we should go to Gurudev then, then why he was just you know doing something and not getting any taste and not going to his Gurudeva? Not clear. N no, that uh, he didn't do it intentionally. He had no knowledge that he do, that he did this. Then why he didn't go to his guru deva? No, like first you said, he did go. Sanatana Goswami. He considered Sanatana Goswami his guru. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He asked his guru what to do. What did I do wrong? He considered Sanatana. Even though Rupa Goswami is the head of all of them, but yes. he, all, he considers Sanatan Goswami his elder brother, yes. his guru. Yes. By etiquette. So he, asked, he went time, to him and Sanatan Goswami that time, gave him his guru was not in front of him. That's why he considered this all things to Sanatan Goswami. Because he accepted him as a Siksha guru. So we can, also, so we can also go to Siksha guru? No, when, when there is possibility, to go to Guru, then you have to go to Guru. By possibility, you mean like a, if it's possible if, if to he's go to near. Is he with Prem Kapal because you can just WhatsApp him or something? You know? yes. huh? <laughs> what should I do about him? If Guru is there, you consult your Guru. If Guru is not there, then you consult another Shiksha Guru. Very yes. simple. Yes, and by there you mean like near to you, by walk, or what is the meaning of. Uh, Guru is near. Well, you can Guru ask him on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Or what's that? Yeah. Yeah. Email. Yeah. 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 We can always get him on. Except when he's out of range. Nowadays, <laughs> nowadays, 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 nothing is far. By anyhow, we'll get him. <laughs> but if Guru's left the world, then you go to Shiksha Guru. It depends, but Guru is always there. I have a little bit of confusion about, um, on the one hand, you just the half baked chanting of the name because you read the Krishna chip shop or, you know, Gopal restaurant is massively beneficial. But on the other hand, if you chant the name with offence, it doesn't work. So, like, how do you. Can you say more about that? No. Why we have to chant the name without offense? Because we, are, we want to attend this prima. But to get the supreme so benefit, benefit, you have to do it without offense. Supreme okay. benefit. Now, always, like fire. So could you just mention... If you put your fire with ignorance or with knowledge, mm. fire will burn your hand. Yeah. I mean, most of the same things. So, will you just remind us what the offences against the name are? Is yeah. That, or is that another whole lecture? It's another one. What? Ten offences, the holy name, it's another lecture. Yes, that is another lecture. Ten offences, because it has to 
say in a good way. You have to explain, yeah, because otherwise it's just yes, otherwise yeah, just yeah, yeah. Yeah. minimum two hours. Minimum two hours. Yeah. Otherwise, so many conflicts will come. Yeah. No and many questions, and we end twelve o'clock, and it will be just yeah. Yes. Minimum, because many questions will come yeah. on top of it. We still have one more. Uh, we can get a bit worried, <coughs> can't we? No. We miss miss the other death teacher, the husband. Okay. No, I know. I, I've, I've even read about them, but sometimes I'm confused about actually. You know. Well, I think isn't there one about um, that you have to be really attentive when you're chanting. So then it's an offence to do to chant uh, you know, yeah, and think yeah, about yeah. something else. Yeah, isn't that one of them? Or am yes. I? Yeah. Well, but we will not get into it now. Let okay. it be separately. But Otherwise, that's the particular we'll one that I... I'm, I'm telling you the most important Namaparat. No. Most okay. important. You have not to think all of them. Okay. Most important Namaparat is we should not use Harinam. Oh, to get something. Yes. Ah, like I want to win the lottery, Hare Krishna, like that. Kind of. I told Vaishnava Parat is the most important. Vaishnava Parat? This is... I'm, I'm telling you about the Navaparat. Mm -hmm. But can I pray for somebody else um, during the Samarandra? For someone? For some, some, yeah. Yes, only to get Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. That is the greatest help for our life to others. Mm -hmm. By money you cannot help anyone. By another activities you cannot help anyone. Only by giving Krishna consciousness, the pure consciousness to someone, that will be the greatest help for his and her life. And at the same time, when you will give some Krishna consciousness to others, then by this dana, you know this is also dana. That means? Charity or treasure. Yes. By this dana you will get this benefit. The best dana is Harinam dana. The best donation. Best charity. Best charity to give Harinam. Like the gift. Yes. Gift yeah. is Harinam. Dana. This comes us. Thank you. You have said many things how we can uh, chant Harinam in many different ways and still get yeah. the result. Even, you know, reading the book and does this. And then there just this one question and the hell must be quite empty because everybody who can read, he just is reading many Krishna's names. If we can just read any book and we will still do you read feel, it. Do you feel that if hell will be empty, that will be some problem? No, but it's just... Uh, you know, <laughs> Why do you have to think about this? <laughs> Are you there. worried that you might be lonely? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there has some quota? Must be there has some, some, some quantity of uh, these prisoners? No, I think so. I think one day hell will be empty. Yes. By this are you now, in Kali Yuga. If somebody only, has only in Kali one percent of consciousness, and if he will chant one time Harinam, he has not to go hell. And this is working only in Kali Yuga or in all Yuga? No, in Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga is very yes. long, so we don't have to worry about the next That is the special mercy for Kali Yuga. And thousands Kali Yuga Doshan in Beajan, in Kali, the one great quality of, of Kali Yuga is that just by chanting the Holy Name you can attain perfection. No other <coughs> Yuga you can do. That. That's why I was born in Kali Yuga. <laughs> Specialized. That's why, that's why so many Yugas <laughs> want to come. <laughs> Even the demigods also yes. have to come here. Okay. In this Kali Yuga. Okay. Very special I have a question that you say that we should not use the names. But if we have trouble, for example, sometimes. Trouble, you can pray to Krishna. If you think just uh, I'm doing Harinam to get rid from this trouble. No, not in that way. You should pray Krishna. Oh, Krishna, Krishna, I have this trouble. Krishna will do this. But if you're just thinking, what is the using of Harinam? But can you do use it to, to 
thinking, I want this prem. Yes. So you can only not, use it, no, that's, that's the only not, thing. That is not using it. Okay. Not, using for your material world. But it feels nice, so yeah. I sometimes think, oh, I only want to do it because it's, I want that feeling that's nice. That's yes, that's good. But I'm still quite selfish. Yes, though, I'm, I'm telling about this okay, material, material world. world. Yeah, okay. That by Harinam, you can destroy all your sin. You can destroy all your sin by Harinam. And then you are chanting Harinam. Oh, so you do more sins thinking, oh, it doesn't matter because I'm You are chanting Harinam and you are doing sins <laughs> with, with consciousness. Okay, maybe they have sign out. I'll just perform this thing and after I do this thing, I'll chant Harinam and I'll get rid from this form. Then, if you do this, then you will get four times more punishment than general time. And I suppose. It, oh. Somebody has some bad habit which is not easy to give up. And he is chanted Harinam together with this. So, what is the reason? Harinam is another thing, habits is another thing. For example, smoking. Yes, no problem. Smoking, drinking, so many habits will be. Addictions. Addictions will be there. Maybe. But if you will continue very long, you will free from this, you will get liberation from this of addiction. In other words, you can pray to Krishna, please free me from this addiction, but you cannot think, oh, let me chant Hare Krishna, the, na, the Hare Nam, and by that I will become free from addiction. That will be an offense. Would it? Yes. If you chant, say, Hare Nam will free me from my, my addiction, that's an offense. To free you from addiction. Or for any material thing. For any material thing. For any material thing. But you can pray to Krishna directly. It will, it will give you result, benefits. Please free. There is no confusion. But you have not to do this. You don't decide what you benefits you think you ought to get from it. Only it will give you result. There is no confusion. Benefits, always benefits. You can't, what about like, would that include say if you're chanting thinking I'm because I want to get into Vrindavan. Yes. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's if okay. you pray for Manjari Bhav, that's a form of prayer. Okay, that doesn't no count problem. as material benefit. No, that's not okay. material. These all things about your spiritual activities, about your bhajan. Then you can use you can you can do this. Chant Hari Nam. Yes. I want to get this and that's why I want to chant more Hari Nam. I need more Hari Nam. And you start to chant in that way. It will give you give you benefits. Because you are doing this all for service for Krishna. So you could chant saying, I want more taste in the Nam. I want to get more taste for yes, chanting yes, and yes, therefore you can pray, ask the, yeah, na the name yeah, to give you that. Yeah, you, can, you can pray for Guru Nishta. It's yes. not material. Because not material. if you get Guru Nishta, that will give you Prema. Okay. That yeah. will give you Seva. So you can, whatever you pray, if it's spiritual, not for your own benefit, material benefit, then it's, it's good. For spiritual, you can do this. For material, not. And that includes liberation. If you prefer liberation, that's offense. Yes. What about, so not chanting, but just praying for material. Is that wrong as well, to pray for help, material help? Or is it better just to pray, it just, just to have trust that Krishna... I know, but I, it's a fine Krishna. point. No, no, you can pray to you Krishna for pray anything. Pray anything. For, for anything. anything. But healed... But you, you should not use this name to get Mahaman like a magic formula. Yes. Okay. You can pray. You pray to Krishna. Look what you got. <laughs> what what uh, type of liberation did uh, Ajamir attain? By Kunta. Four four hundred. Four hundred. Mm. Mukti, Mukti, yes. What about those Ramanandis? They are smoking so much ganja. They said that this is because it keeps them in celibacy. No, no. You are you are talking about some some okay. who are just uh, the earlier stage. Raman Ramanandis are not taking the ganja. Mm -hmm. They are all the Shiva devotees. They are taking the ganja, not Ramanandis. 
बिकॉज गांजा इज द प्रसाद ऑफ शिव नॉट प्रभु रामचंद्र एंड सो फॉर एग्जांपल बामशीदास बाबा जी ही वाज स्मोकिंग गुड गुड का बामशीदास बाबा जी या फ्रॉम वेयर नो दिस ही वाज एक्चुअली वेरी हाई बट ही स्पिरिचुअली हाई बट फ्रॉम वेयर नो दिस एवर वी रीड इन हिज बायोग्राफी ही वाज स्मोकिंग How do you know? Did you see him? No, it's not true. It's simply not true. He was putting fish bones, and he kept a hook or something. So people think that he's a bogus sadhu and won't bother him, but he never did. Okay. He never did. He was a pure devotee. He didn't have any fish. No, 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 not true. Not true. Okay. Okay. I want to ask you. I read often that one should uh, chant uh, the holy name in the danger. But according to what you say, by chanting danger is using. Uh, no, no, that is not. That is not the uh, using of harina. When you feel some distress, when you feel some uh, fear in your mind, suddenly you can chant harina. That is not using of harina. It's like taking shelter. Yes, that is taking shelter. Yes, you are right. By chanting this name, you are taking shelter. So if so, if you had. Problems in material problems, and you chanted, thinking Krishna is just going to sort everything out, and I'm just going to chant. Mm. And Krishna, is that is that reasonable, or is that like selfish, sneakily? But Krishna does sort everything out anyway, right? Yeah. So yes, not clear your question. Do you know what I mean? No. If if you chant with the faith that I don't have to worry about my material problems because, because Krishna, Krishna is in control, he will yes, sort it out. Okay. Of course it's okay. Yes, it's, it's faith. faith. It's faith. You have to keep this faith in that way. You have to grow up this faith. You try not to think about our material all things. Krishna will take care of everything. Just yesterday he mentioned the six limbs of Shahnagati. Yes. So the most important one is Varanamrita. Uh, that the faith that Krishna will maintain me. So it's not my duty, not my dharma, not my responsibility to figure out how to maintain myself. Krishna will give me the intelligence and make all arrangements. Okay. Then you'll have faith in bhakti. Then you see bhakti is important thing, not, my, not survival. Otherwise, oh, I have to first work and make money and make sure I have a place to live and a husband or wife and all this and you never do bhakti. So that's the most important limb yes, of yes. Shivanagati. The, the firm faith, Krishna will protect me. Uh, what, about if one, um, what about if one becomes like lazy to use this type of you know, attitude? Meaning, Krishna will take care, I just go and lie down and just sit or chanting. But I don't no, know, that's not tomorrow this, morning I don't have not, to go to my job because no, you know, no, that's Krishna not, takes care. No, no, no. That's not the same. I'm talking about the other extreme. The other extreme, but that's, that's and not the same as having faith that can Krishna use that. take care. We have to, we have to do our all duties. Yes, that's what I want to say, otherwise we have it comes... To, we, have not to, we have to do our all duties yeah. in this material world also. But we have not to think that by our these activities we are uh, solving our all problems. <coughs> that is our duty. We are here in this material world, that's why, so we are doing this all. We have not to think about the result. Exactly. It, I've got one more question, I'm sorry to be Good. troublesome about this, but like, because I have really, my biggest difficulty, or one of them, is just shutting up my, can't, my mind is just so like, you know, all over the place. Welcome to the club, people. Yes, I know, it's a human condition, but... So I sometimes I chant and I pr and I ask for that to be. Is that like a material desire to ask for a clear mind and be able to focus, or is that acceptable? That is not, that is not uh, material. So that's desire. okay. Good. So it's not any desire. It's a particular thing about, say, like money or you know, success or. No, that is not material desire. Okay. Ravinanda Swami wrote a whole book preaching to the mind. Yes. And his elevated Manasika. Manasika. His his elevated soul, his eternal associate, and he wrote a whole book, eleven <laughs> shlokas. Is that like dear mind? Preaching Please to his mind. Shut up, oh shut up, you know, cooperate <laughs> with me. I beg you I 
Oh, my brother, mind, I beg you, feet, you know, I drop your feet, just give up your pride, help me. So even he's praying. Where we are. Yeah. Well, where are we? You know, of course our mind is giving us trouble. It's terrible trouble. Yeah, terrible trouble. Okay. Well, welcome to the club, you know. We all think I'm the only one who's having, having trouble with my mind, you know. So I'm the only one, you know. Everyone else is happy, everyone else is peaceful. <laughs> oh, I don't think that. I can know that everyone else isn't, but you know. <laughs> just, uh... <laughs>